Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about a term that I've heard recently that got me thinking. What is irrelevant luxury? Is there such a term? Is there such a concept? I would love to hear your comments down below, but I wanted to share my take on it after hearing about it through social media and other YouTubers. So here I have uh, two examples. So one are larger wallets or full-size wallets. And here I have two um, Louis Vuitton key clay, which are typically known as their key holders. Um, I actually had a six key holder from Louis Vuitton recently. I actually sold it because I realized I don't use it. And that's what got me thinking about this term, irrelevant luxury. So I'll get into it a little bit more just to share my thoughts on it. And again, I'd love to hear your thoughts and if you feel or think the same way. Um, and if you don't, I'd be open to hearing about that as well. So one thing is uh, specifically about larger wallets. Now this is the largest wallet that I currently have. It's a Louis Vuitton Epi leather piece called the Trezor wallet. Um, it holds full-size bills over here on the side and it has uh, large slots to put cards, um, credit cards, business cards, what have you. Opens up here with a zippered opening where you could put other cards or even coins. You can tell it is a fairly big size wallet. It's not the biggest, but it's kind of like back in the day, the midsize wallet. And I've used this so much in the past when it was more relevant to have a bigger wallet. And nowadays, I think we're all gravitating towards more uh, like cashless payment options, whether you pay on Apple Pay on your phone or even just carrying one or two credit cards. That's been the trend lately. And even for myself, I don't even really carry cash a lot of the times. Maybe I'll carry a couple of $20 bills just to have something on hand. But I'm finding that I can't even fill this up anymore and there's not much I can really put in it. Um, instead, I would use smaller card holders or uh, in this case, I use these pouches, but I'll get into that in a second. The other item I have is the second to largest wallet. It's a Louis Vuitton Victorine wallet, and this is in the fuchsia color inside. So obviously it's canvas on the outside, but inside it's a beautiful fuchsia color. I got this in London a couple years back. Uh, I think it was pre-Brexit, so I got a pretty good deal on it. And you can see it's similar construction. You have a slot for coins or even other cards, uh, several card hold, uh, card slots. There's a slot under here and under here, and it can hold full-size bills inside. You can see from the condition, I haven't even really used this a lot. I did at first, but then started to downsize, and I don't even really reach for these two wallets anymore. So much so that I'm actually contemplating on selling this specific one. I think I will keep this one because it holds some sentimental value for me. Believe it or not, I got this long time ago back in 2005. It's one of the first Louis Vuitton pieces that I've ever gotten. I never got um, the the, the canvas as my first piece. Actually, Epi was my first piece. And this just holds some sentimental value for me. And I, I don't think this would be worth much at all. But I think this is one of the newer wallets, uh, fuller size wallets. It's still somewhat compact. It's not as big as a full full size wallet, but I also don't really use this a lot because I don't need, I don't really need to carry so much. Um, so instead I do use card holders, or in this case, this key pouch as a card holder. You see, I have it filled right now with some credit cards, my driver's license and whatnot, insurance cards. You have a option to have keys hooked into this, but I don't carry keys anymore. I don't really use it. Like when I get into my house, we just go in through the garage and 
that's just how we enter the house. But if I did need a key, I would just have one hooked onto this and just slide it inside uh, of the, the key pouch, you know, in front of the credit cards. Um, here's the canvas version, of course, same construction. I would say this is uh, more useful for me now than, than a wallet. And I know a lot of people really rave about this particular item from Louis Vuitton, but there are other options out there that can do the same thing and is similar size. But I wonder, is are larger wallets irrelevant now? To me, they, they kind of are because I, I don't see myself using a full-size wallet like this anymore. Um, if I need to carry cash, I actually put it in a separate little pouch because I don't access it much. Um, similarly, I, I do use other pouches to separate my items a little bit where I have other less frequently used credit cards um, or insurance information, uh, things like that in a separate pouch. I use like an Hermes pouch there. But uh, I actually just use this. I use this as my wallet um, and it has worked out fine. Like when I go to the gym, I just bring this and my phone. Um, when I need to run a quick errand, I just bring this and my phone uh, and you know potentially other other things that I might need more often and this is my frequently used items that I must bring with me if I go out because it has my identification and whatnot so I find that I don't need a bigger size uh, wallet or, or anything like that so in that sense is that irrelevant luxury and just an open question to you all instead I'm finding that some other items that are more relevant for us these days. And it's not really a luxury item, but I find that it is somewhat of a necessity depending on how you use um, your devices or, or your phones because your phone has become like one of those essential items. You don't really go out without your phone. So I'm talking about a power bank like this. This particular one um, is a uh, is a battery pack that kind of can stick behind my phone because it has MagSafe. And I find that this is probably more of a need than a larger size wallet, as an example, because if you're out all day, you will likely need to charge your phone unless you know you, your, your battery is at full capacity and it, it doesn't drain so quickly, depending how new or old your phone is. But more often than not, I'm finding that I would need to carry something like this more than a, a full-size wallet. So for example, if I had these two items and I put it in a bag, it still does not take up that much space as compared to a full-size wallet. Like in terms of the, the thickness or the, yeah, the thickness, it's probably the same, but it still does save more space compared to a full-size wallet. Probably more comparable to this, uh, but you can even see the height of the wallet is bigger. So. Are, that's probably the reason why smaller bags were such a trend and still is somewhat of a trend. I mean, I know larger bags are kind of in these days, but you can get away with using a smaller bag because you really don't need to carry as much anymore, which in a way I kind of appreciate. Um, so these are just my thoughts on the term that I've been hearing and you know, if it, and I'm curious to see if you have any thoughts on any other items that are irrelevant luxury items uh, at this day and age. So feel free to leave a comment down below. I would love to have a conversation with you. And um, I, I am trying to think of other ideas and other topics to cover in future videos. So if you have any ideas for me, I would love to hear it and would experiment doing other videos around those topics. So I hope you stay happy and healthy and I will talk to you all next time. Thanks and bye.